Hey everybody, it's Vicki with Dementia with Grace. I hope everybody is doing good today. We are continuing today in the Why series. We are talking about why does my person do this? Why does my person do that? And today we're talking about why does my person remember things that happened a long time ago? They remember everything about their childhood. They can tell you stories from the war and stories um, from when they were young mothers and you know when their kids were in school, but she can't tell you if she took her medicine this morning. And so I get that question a lot and it's very confounding for people and so I want to explain what happens. We have um, different areas of our brain that store different types of memory. You know, you have long-term memory, short-term memory, and working memory. Those are those are the three main types of memory. There's others um, and it gets very um, nuanced, but let's just talk about those as three um, distinct areas of memory. Working memory is memory that you need, um, you know, what do you need to go to the store for? Um, that you need to remember to turn um, the, um, the washer and dryer on. Um, maybe, you know, put the clothes from the washer to the dryer and turn the dryer on and go get them out. That's working memory. Thursday of next week, you're not going to still need to know um, that Monday of this week um, you washed clothes and had to have that, that memory. You're not going to need that. So working memory is just something that you work with. It is something um, that, you are, that you are doing right now that you don't need um, to have in storage, okay? Short-term memory is something that you need to know, um, and it usually is going to go from short-term to long-term memory, but, you know, it is still, um, it's still loose. It's still, think of it as a filing cabinet. Think of your inbox, um, you know, your, your inbox as working memory. This is something that came. This is, this is um, something that needs to be filed away or not. It could be thrown away, um, like knowing to turn the, the dryer on, okay? Knowing that where the dryer is in your house <laughs> is long-term memory. When you are um, having to remember that the next time you go to the grocery store, you need laundry detergent is in short-term memory, okay? So think about that uh, as a grocery list. So you say, oh, we're out of, we're out of detergent. So I'm gonna, that's in my working memory. It's, it's going in the inbox. And so then it needs to be moved from there to a file folder, which is the grocery list that we need laundry detergent, okay? That knowing where your dryer and washer and dryer is in your house is stored in long-term memory. When you first uh, moved into your house and, and you were learning the layout of your house, that was in working memory. It was filed in a file folder in short-term memory. Then it was filed in a filing cabinet of long-term memory. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, and what the memories are of long ago of how um, where you lived in the fifth grade and um, who was your best friend um, in high school and some of the things that y'all did together and you can still talk about that talk about going off to war um, what happened while you were serving um, all of those things are in your long-term memory that is stuff that is deep in your file cabinet that is is a part of you know your long-term storage of memories Short-term memories are not. Short-term memories are, you know, just the little things that you have to remember. Oh, my battery's about to die. Short-term memories are the little things that you have to remember, and those are just in file folders. And they may or may not get filed in the long-term memory, okay? Working memory is just, you know, what you need to work with right now. A phone number you need to remember for just a few seconds. Uh, the um, channel that the ball game comes on or, you know, if it's, a, you know, something like that. Um, I hope that that makes sense. So anyway, people that can access long-term memories are just because they're, they've been there that long. Somebody with dementia cannot make new memories. If you tell them, um, Daddy, I'm going to the store and I'll be right back, he can't remember that. Once you leave his sight of vision, he, his line of vision, you would not be able to then, um, he, if somebody came in and said, hey, where's Jane? I don't know. I saw her a while ago. I don't know where she is now. He would not remember that you had gone to the grocery store. So that is that is it in a nutshell. 
long-term memories are things that have been there for a very long time and you eventually will erode those with dementia eventually that uh, that kind of um, you're, you're not able to access those memories I have a feeling that memories don't go anywhere our connections to the memories are what is an issue now in working memory and short-term memory sometimes they don't get encoded they don't get um, put in the filing cabinet just because of the way dementia works and the way that we we um, understand information and process information in the dementia mind. Um, anyway, it's very convoluted. It can be it can be um, hard to understand, but I, I I think of it like a filing cabinet. And I think that's helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a note down below. I'm very responsive to the questions and to the comments. If you are looking for a group of people um, to connect with when it's so maddening that mother cannot remember, she cannot tell you who came by, she cannot tell you if she took her medicine, she cannot tell you if she's eaten, but she wants to immediately go into, do you remember when you were in the seventh grade and we went to Disney World? That can be maddening. We understand that over on the group. Um, we understand that, you know, I am so frustrated that I cannot get this across or that across, and we can help you um, we're a place to vent and to say, hey, you know, you're not wrong for thinking that. You're not wrong for being angry about that. You're not wrong for being frustrated about that. But let's give you some support and let's talk about how we can, we can change our perspective on this so that we have a more positive experience and we manage dementia with grace. I look forward to seeing you over there. The link will be down there below and we will be talking more about the Y series um, in a few videos to come, okay? All right, I look forward to serving you. Y'all take care. I love you. Bye. Mwah.